there is no secret in photography. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jimmy Chang, a professional photographer and filmmaker based in London. Today, I want to talk about photography in a way that I hope to help you define your own photography and ultimately, you as a photographer. What I'm about to do in this channel will definitely hurt my workshop income. But hey, I'm a photographer who loves photography so much that I want everyone else does too, without any worry or restrictions. Of course, you can always support my course in promoting photography by buying me some coffees or PayPal donation through the links in my description. Especially when international travel is somewhat challenging, the best way for me to communicate to photographers around the globe is through this channel. Remember, I welcome all photographers with any background and experience. Think of today's video as an introduction to photography in a way that many have been questioning themselves. Do I really need to learn photography? And what will I gain from learning from another photographer? To put it simply, if someone asked me these questions now, my answer would be yes and a lot. Yes, I need to learn and continue to learn photography until my last breath, and there's always something new and exciting to photograph. Just look at astrophotography for example, I haven't really tried because of where I live and also time restriction, but this is something that I would like to learn more about. And don't forget that astrophotography was simply not possible during the film era and the early days of consumer digital photography, but now it's accessible to practically anyone. Even not the best quality, but some smartphone can capture something these days as well. And I always learned a lot from other photographers, no matter how much experience I have. Each of us is unique, have a unique view and skill set. So when you talk to other photographers, you can learn a lot from their photography, but more importantly, the why and what. I often get asked these questions during my photography workshops. What's your secret in photography? Would you pass on your secret so we can photograph like you? You probably have some secrets that you won't pass to us because otherwise you will lose your business. And my answer is always, there is no secret in photography. Only your hard work, determination, willingness to sacrifice, creativity, and a little bit of luck. I'm here to show you how to get to the door at the end of this corridor, but you will have to open the door and walk through it yourself. But after that, you can choose whichever direction you want. Each photographer starts at the same level, ground zero. But for those who succeed, work hard to practice and shoot every day, like day after day after day. And even when they feel numbed, bored, and everything like stale bread, they continue to push, determined to find that window, a window of light for that breakthrough that they need to jump to the next level. You see, many photographers sacrificed lots of things before they got there, and it's not for everyone. Some sacrifice love, family, and even their own lives just for those photographs. And of course, that's the extreme, but you know what I mean. Then is the creativity, a basic instinct that a photographer possesses, who can see things that others simply don't, who can utilize what lights draw before his eyes, who can translate what's in front of him into a photograph that strikes the core of every viewer's emotion and imagination. And finally, Luck. Of course, everyone needs a little bit of luck, not only from a career point of view or commercial standpoint, but even from an enthusiast. Luck can give you a photograph that no one else can capture. All I'm trying to say is that there is no shortcut or quick way to become a master in photography, regardless of genre. I also don't believe one can have more than 100 great photos throughout his or her entire career. Of course, I take many more than 100 photos, but I'm nowhere near retiring yet, and I'll find out when I reach the end point and look back to see which 100 photographs would be my favorite. So in this channel, starting now, I will slowly, bit by bit, teaching the essence of photography, the do's and don'ts, the good and bads to you. We will also discover fun things, learn from the past masters, and get lost in the photography wonderland. We will also learn more about why and not how in photography. Remember, this is a lifelong task, but if you're with me, we will ride this together and enjoy what's in front of our lenses. 
giving me a helping hand and document this great planet of ours and beyond. Peace. So this is my intro video that I've never done one for this channel, <laughs> but I finally make one for this kind of new era of Red 35 uh, because I think that, you know, it's time for me to transition out of uh, the very kind of geeky reviewing things into a more philosophical and more kind of uh, hopefully, you know, uh, uh, proper essence of photography related. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to conduct reviews on things that I really enjoy. You know, of course, OM Michael Forther is still kind of my, the core of this channel. Uh, but, you know, I'm definitely going to venture out. I mean, after you've seen my recent changes already, I mean, I spent it into like looking at photography related films, documentaries, uh, past masters, which I'm going to start looking into. Um, the, you know, I just want to talk about photography in a more deeper sense, you know, than, than what you see from other channels, uh, because I think it's important for, you know, if you are really into photography, to understand uh, why you are taking that photograph. And, uh, you know, because it helps a lot f that when it comes to, you know, clicking that shutter button and the end results that you're trying to present to your viewer, you know, and uh, that process is very critical, very important, because at the end of the day, you want your photographs not only just to look likes, but mean something. You know, um, you know, but photography is a very personal thing. You know, I, I always have to uh, strongly ever kind of tell you that because uh, uh, it's, it is ultimately shooting for you, not for other people. I mean, that will be become like uh, what I do in the commercial uh, side of it because uh, I'm shooting for other people. I mean, this is what they want. Although it has my vision in it, but it, ultimately they want what they want. You know, I have to deliver that. But for my own projects, for my other things, is really down to my own self. And uh, I look up to it. Uh, I created those projects, and I wanted to tell the story in the way that I want to tell it. So this is something that I would like uh, uh, to promote in this channel, uh, because why is driven everything that I do, and uh, it's not about how. You know, how is easy. You know, like it's very easy to master. Uh, you know, once you must uh, learn and master the, the exposure triangle, it's not difficult to do at all. And uh, it, so the how is very simple, very straightforward, especially now with all this latest tech in the latest cameras, you know, you have basically most of the stuff done for you already. Like before, I remember in the old days, for instance, IAF, I had to physically like properly adjust uh, uh, the focusing for the eyes, you know, because most people would use center point uh, focus and just recompose. And it's always missed a little bit, especially using ultra fast lens uh, or the, you know, the shallower depth of field lenses. Uh, so like, I have to manually adjust a little bit because every lens is different. You just have to get used to it and learn it from experience when you use the tools. Uh, but yeah, but just skip that aside, you know, like these days is a lot easier when it comes to uh, uh, composition and nailing that focus on the eyes uh, for portraiture. Uh, in the old days, it's definitely a bit more difficult, more tricky, especially use uh, a shallow depth of field in your photography. Um, but these days really is a night and day difference. Um, but, you know, this one thing that I want to say that mastering is easy, especially with today's tech. But why you're doing it? You know, what sort of thing you want to tell your viewers about? You know, the story behind it, you know, the, the whole kind of uh, 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 aesthetics, you know, uh, textures, uh, all these little elements that I want to talk about in my future videos. And hope you guys are going to stay with me and, uh, because uh, I would like to promote, like I said, remember a couple of videos before, I would like to promote that middle group of the entire photography market uh, for those people, for th those photographers who love to really making image and enjoy the creation process uh, more than anything, more than gear and stuff like that. And uh, they're important, of course, but you know, I really want to focus on that group now. And because uh, it's something that I believe, you know, it's my interest. You know, that's why I run workshops before. That's why I continue to run workshops to promote, to uh, and hopefully inspire younger photographers and generations uh, to take up this hobby. Uh, and may become one day a master in photography. You know, I, I wouldn't call myself a master, but, you know, but this is something I'm aspiring to. Hopefully that I would uh, help other people to do so. Uh, you know, it's something I truly, truly enjoy.
doing. That's why I'm here today speaking to you in this video. <laughs> anyway, uh, I know enough talking now. I talk quite a bit uh, already. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy yourself. Um, yeah, keep shooting wherever you are. Like I, like I mentioned already, the better the, the better you are. Well, not the better. The more you shoot, the better you become. So anyway, speak to you all later. Bye.